Despite extremely limited supply of the basics in grocery stores across the region, so far the Central Okanagan Food Bank says they're doing okay. Right now we're not doing too bad. Um, we have, uh, you know, we, we pre-purchase we pre in bulk for many weeks in advance of when we actually need it. But what we are seeing right now um, is a reduction in the amount of food coming in through our food recovery program. We uh, partner and uh, pick up food from 15 local grocery stores daily and we're not seeing the meat come through, the dairy come through, a uh, very limited uh, produce supply coming through, and so that's what's kind of concerning us right now. Watson says over the past few days, they have been extremely busy. On average, the food bank sees about 120 appointments a day. She says at this point, she is not concerned that those who cannot get what they want in a grocery store will target the food bank. I think it's really gonna depend on how long this lasts, and, um, and, and our concern and real uh, focus right now as well are on obviously the folks that have been um, evacuated and are here now from the Merritt area and staying local. We want to make sure that those who are staying in hotel rooms and have no other options for food have um, the available food. The Central Okanagan Food Bank is also gearing up for the Christmas season and anticipates it will be busy. We're anticipating a 19% increase. We're forecasting about 2,200 hampers will be required this year. This was before the evacuees uh, arrived in town, so that number might increase. Um, and financial donations are also really important this time of year, and we encourage anyone who is willing to help to jump online and maybe uh, donate funds. For more information, you can head to cofoodbank.com. For Castanet News, I'm Addison Earhart in Kelowna.